Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Bobby with Tech360.tv and we're here to talk about what I consider to be one of the most beautiful laptops of 2018, early 2019. This is the HP Spectre Folio. Now I do want to put out a disclaimer on this that we are not paid by HP for this review at all. This is a laptop that is on loan. It has to go back to HP. Uh, these are my thoughts and my thoughts only. So here we go. Now this is a, why I call it one of the most beautiful laptops is the design of it. This is a laptop that is encased in leather. It's not a cover, the body is leather, which makes it very unique. And this is a very high quality chrome tan leather, uh, something that you would get out of a car seat like a luxury car. So it feels very thick. It's beautiful to touch. It's great to feel on your lap. Um, and there's a reason why it's so thick is because this is not just a laptop, it's a convertible laptop, which can go into various different positions, which we'll talk about in just a second. But let me tell you a little bit about the specs on this. Now, it might get a little confusing because there's a few different specs going on here and you'll understand why. Now, the demo laptop I received uh, has inside of it the 8th generation i5Y processor by Intel. It uh, has a 1080p display to touch screen. Um, it has 8 gigabytes of RAM with 256 gigabytes of onboard storage. Now, that is the version I have here in Singapore. However, if you're in Singapore and you want to buy this laptop, you can. You're going to buy a different configuration. The laptop you'll buy in the Singapore HP store is the i7 8th generation Y processor by Intel, 8 gigabytes of RAM, 512 gigabytes of onboard storage. Same display, and that's pretty much the differences. But it is what it is, so let's talk a little bit more about the design and about the features of the laptop. Now, as I mentioned before, this is encased in leather. It's chrome tan leather. Now, this is a 13.3 inch display, 1080p display. The colors are vibrant and accurate. Um, it looks really good in person. Uh, you also have Bang & Olufsen speakers on this as well, and we'll talk about the performance of that in just a bit. Uh, full, a full layout keyboard, feels great in the hands. Talk more about that, and of course the trackpad comes with a stylus as well, and a slew of adapters all inside the box. Thank you, HP. Okay, got pretty much those specs out of the way, right? Let's talk about day-to-day -day usage. Now, the thing about the Spectre Folio is that it's not just a laptop, it's a convertible laptop. And what I mean by that is this. As you can see here, you have various different positions. You can put this here for, let's say, watching movies or watching videos. If you're an artist or you need to draw something or you want that angle, it can lay like this. And if you wanna go tablet mode, you push it down and it can be a tablet. Now, of course, I believe this is a 16 by nine aspect ratio, so it will be a little bit odd to use it as a normal tablet portrait mode, but it can be done if you want to do that. Uh, for, the, for the majority of us though, I think we'll probably be in laptop mode for the most part. Now, because of all the engineering that HP has done in this laptop, which is phenomenal by the way, there's a lot of really cool stuff happening inside of this, the hinge doesn't go back that far. So if you're looking for a laptop that, or a screen that goes back much farther, you won't get it in this, but I've had no problem with the viewing angle thus far. Um, moving on down from the display, which is beautiful by the way, let's get to the speakers, because that's the, one of the things you're gonna see right there in front of you is Bang & Olufsen speakers. It's a grill right above the keyboard. You're going, oh man, Bang & Olufsen, this is gonna sound amazing. You're going to see uh, lack, well, not gonna see. You're gonna hear lack of bass uh, in this. It is good on the mids and the highs, but it's not really a loud speaker set in the laptop. And it has a problem in it, which I'm gonna just demonstrate right now for you. Um, while the speakers are on, you know, on top of the keyboard, which is great and all, let's find some music here. Music video, so let's get to the music. Now it sounds pretty good, right? You're playing, hey, this sounds not bad, right? Voices are clear. No bass. Let's push this a little bit more in here. Do that bass is like this. There's no bass. Okay? Now, when I go to convertible mode, now all of a sudden the sound changes. You want to know why? Is because 
The speakers are now behind the screen and it's kind of in this hollow area here. So it sort of gives you this like you're listening into a toilet kind of vibe to it. Um, not to say it sounds like it's, you know what I mean, but you know what I'm talking about. It's got this hollow sound. Now if I move this more flat, where the speakers are at, and you get a little bit of openings here, the sound feels, sounds a lot better. But here, where HP wants you to watch a video or watch YouTube, let me shut this off here, it's got that hollow sound. So um, I would have preferred if HP maybe put the speakers on the side of the screen or if they done something to where no matter what angle the screen is at, you still get that full immersive sound. That would have been great. Maybe they'll do that in the second variant of the Folio, but as it is right now, that is something that you will experience as you uh, adjust the angles of the screen. Okay, but there's a headphone jack on the side of it anyway, so if you wanna to listen to headphones with it or Bluetooth, you're good to go. Um, moving on to the keyboard for a moment. Now the keyboard, day-to-day -day usage, this keyboard is one of the best keyboards I've used. Great travel on the keys. It's really comfortable with the palms and the leather right here. Now this is a full-size keyboard. You got all the, the function buttons you need right there. It's backlit, evenly backlit. I can't say enough about this keyboard. It's actually one of my favorite things about the Folio is the keyboard itself. And uh, I mean, trust me, when you try it, you're gonna really enjoy it. Now, moving down to the trackpad. It's a little bit different story. Great keyboard, mediocre speakers, great display. You're kind of getting a vibe here. You're like, Bobby, please don't tell me the trackpad's not good. Okay, I'm not gonna say it's not good. I'm gonna say, it could use improvement. We're positive here, okay? Now the trackpad itself is not the largest trackpad. Um, I guess based on the space that HP put on this uh, bottom portion of the folio, it kind of fits in terms of that, but I have larger hands and so I wish there was a larger trackpad. Now you have all the multiple gestures you can do with it. It feels high quality, but it comes down to the drivers. Now, a lot of people would prefer that a trackpad have precision drivers. This does not. It has synaptic drivers, which results in sometimes not too accurate, you know, tracking on the screen. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about the ports on the side of it. Um, now you've got three USB-C ports. One is a standard USB-C port, the other one are Thunderbolt 3. So you give you have that ability right there and you're going, wait a second, does it have USB-A? Hold on, wait a minute. Like I said before, HP has been very thorough with the Spectre Folio and they provide inside the box, free of charge, adapters. Now, you have an adapter here with multiple inputs here. You have USB-C, HDMI, USB-A. That's one. Now, if you don't need that, you have a single USB-A adapter to USB-C and they feel high quality, they feel great, and they're included inside the box. Thank you very much, HP. Now, moving on to the stylus. Yes, it comes with the stylus. Uh, this stylus feels good in the hands. It's, I mean, lengthwise feels good. Feels like a normal pen for the most part. Oh, by the way, they, they include two extra pen, uh, tips for the pens inside the box too. Good on you, HP. Um, the stylus has 4,096 pressure points to it, and it is uh, it works well for note taking. It works well for you know highlighting pictures or documents or you know easy sketching. But now HP, I believe they say there's is some tilt action to it. Now, based on my usage, I really wasn't getting that kind of tilt action. I would like to get if I'm drawing or if I want some shading. I'm not going to get it like that, or at least from my experience. Your experience might vary. Um, and I also felt that when I'm drawing things, if I want to do a slow line, I get this jaggedy edge to it. But if I go quick, it's straight. Um, so if you are a professional artist, this might not be the pen for you. You might want to look at more professional alternatives, uh, but for note taking and for highlighting documents, it's good enough. So what is it like to use day to day? Now for me, I mean, you've probably watched some of the reviews I do, I've done. I like to do photo editing. That's a lot of what I do. Um, I do some video editing, uh, but I mainly use Lightroom. I use Photoshop. And I felt for basic editing, it was fine. I mean, day-to-day -day usage, Word, Word documents, YouTube videos, browsing the web, no issues at all. Overall, though, I have to tell you, the battery life on this is really good. Now, HP is uh, touting 21 hours. 
I never hit 21 hours. I don't think anyone really does. Um, I was getting between eight to 12 hours, which is great for me. I mean, I guess if I was just watching movies, you know, brightness at lower than 50%, I probably get even longer. Uh, but I'm watching YouTube videos, I'm browsing the web. I like to keep the brightness a bit higher because I just like a very bright screen. That's my personal usage. Yours might be different. But I was getting between eight to 12 hours, which is fine for me. And because this has a 65 watt charger on it, on uh, the power adapter, it charges relatively fast. And this also has a 54 uh, watt per hour battery inside of this thing. So it's got a lot of battery juice in there. So you're gonna be fine with this. Overall, I love what HP did. I like the leather. Um, I love leather. So you know, a lot of my phone cases are leather. And I like that patinaed look over time because it just adds character to it. And this will patina. Um, this, it is chrome tan, so there is a little bit of protection over it. But if you are having your laptop on a table, you're at a coffee uh, joint, you wanna drink some coffee, drink some water, drink some juice, be careful, it is leather. Okay, disclaimer out there, because if you stay in leather, you stay in leather. You'd have to re-dye the whole thing, and I don't think you can do that on your own. You have to send it back to HP because you cannot take the leather off the laptop. I would recommend it for somebody who's looking for a laptop that is exquisite, luxuriously, uh, has a luxurious feel to it, that you want to be different from the crowd out there, you're a Windows fan, you want that convertible aspect. It's not the perfect laptop with the speakers and the trackpad could be better, but overall, the pluses outweigh the minuses. Anyway, those are my thoughts on the HP Spectre Folio. Let me know what your thoughts are. If you own it, you're thinking about buying it, any questions you have, hit me up in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. We love subscribers. We love you guys. Uh, follow us on Facebook. Until the next one, take care.